Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Helen and I am one half of the Northern Narrowboaters with my partner Tony and our British Bulldog. You can see him in the back, Captain Bruce. This morning we've decided to go to Mia Sandswood again. We won't show you around there because obviously we've been before, um, was it last week, week before? But um, we found a new part of water on there which we might show you when we go anywhere. Well we will show you, we're not mad, no mind about it. Um, and then we're going to come back. We are very, very close to going out on the cut now. Everything's open. We're just waiting for the mad rush to go and then we'll be off. We don't know where, we don't know when. Um, but you're going to see us on the water soon. So it's, it's exciting, isn't it, Tom? <laughs> As you can hear it, it's really excited. It's too early. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really, really early in the morning. We're, we had a bit of a long day sat outside with our lovely friends, Janice and Brian and their dog. Norman, Norman and Bruce, um, and we we had a couple a couple of ciders. It made us sound really common that, but they were nice posh ciders. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So we're just going to go out now and then take Bruce for a little walk, and I'll have a little five minute walk, and then we are going to come back and do a couple of jobs and tell you about our plans for well. We don't know our plans, but what, what we do know, we'll tell you about. And I'll show you what I bought for the boat. <laughs> <laughs> wait, till you, wait till I show you what I bought for the boat. Frank Spencer returns. Yeah, um, again, I've done something really stupid. So, catch you in a bit. He's ready to get out. Oh, he's dropped locked the car again. Got this double locking thing. Here he is. Where's our big boy? There he is. Hello, come on, jump down. Let's get you. Oh, that's it. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Stay there. Stay there, Bruce. Let's get your lead on. Bruce, come back. Bruce. Oh, he's buggering, he's buggering off. Come here. Come here, Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce, I'm trying to get you one handed. Well, that were an ordeal. Try to chase after him. Look how quiet it is. There's nobody about today. There's Tony at distance coming with ticket. You've got to pay your, got to pay your dues, haven't you? Oh, I've done some daft things, me, this week. Wait till I tell you what I've done. Oh, I'll show you when we get back to the boat. Watch him. <gasps> Are you coming? Are you coming? Yeah. We're gonna go. We're gonna go for a little walk. Well, it's cool and it's ridiculously early. <gasps> Are you coming? Are you coming? So going through the walk, we've came to this. It's about making sure the um, you've got your dogs on leads. This is one of the huts, and that's got a green roof, and it's got all different flowers and plants on. I'll take you inside, but I'll be quiet. Oh, monkey. <laughs> we found another one. I love little cheeky eyes. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to make dens. I know. Do up, Bruce. I 
didn't believe him about the bodies of water that tree fallen down but he were right he weren't lying he weren't being a little liar Tommy <laughs> we found them, we found them bodies of water I feel like he's following me This is how close you are to nature, look at that little robin there we're probably, what, two, three metres away Tom? And it's just not moving but if you stop and look up there's loads of things How cute is that? I love it. It's not for me to walk through. Oh, look at that one I've just seen. Honestly, there's all sorts here. You stand still and just look up and you see, like, look at that. And you just see all sorts. You see but loads of robins, but there's just so many different birds. Have you heard me? <laughs> I'm getting a bit excited, aren't I? Do you know, I'm annoyed with myself now. I didn't realise it would be so nice this other way. Um, I didn't realise it was so big and I should have brought me my gimbal and my camera equipment I'm just going to let you listen to everything of how nice it is I feel like David Bellamy. Is it David Bellamy who does all? No, not David Bellamy. Who's that other one? That main one. I found another little bit of water. Can you tell I am completely drawn to water? I love it. When I lived in Greece, that's all I ever did. <laughs> they used to call me Kylie on a lilo because I was always tiny. I mean, I'm bloody not tiny now, but I mean, it's nice, isn't it? But once you've seen them one, you've seen them all, haven't you? Do you know what I mean? If you're not into birds and stuff. I've got trap wind. Oh, I don't know where that came from. I've got trap wind. So it sounds like there's more mallards than there is, than there actually are. <laughs> Honest. I could show you all robins I've seen, but I've, oh, it was a right noise then. Um, I could show you all, <laughs> all robins I've seen in here, but I'll be here all bloody day. Well, that were a lovely walk. I turned into David Bellamy, it's like, oh, in the undergrowth, like that. And I said to Tony, look at that robin, look at that yellow tit, look at this bird, look at that bird, and he said he's not interested. That's because he's got the best bird. <laughs> Me, big bird. So, yeah, it was lovely. We're going home now. Well, we're not going home. He's taking me to Cash Point because before we leave the marina, which we don't know when that is, there's loads of honesty boxes around here. And there's one that sells seeds, um, poppy seeds from his field. And I want to go um, and buy them. I went to bought five pounds yesterday, but he had loads. So I'm going to go back and buy more leave some money in the honesty it's box charity. yeah it's for charity for cancer so we're gonna go and buy as many as we can so he gets um some money for his charity so he Tony's taking me on a, on a tour de, what is it a tour de honesty box that's where he's taking me today so we're just off to Bursco there was another one then we've just passed there's loads for eggs round here but we get it from that farm but there's another one we've just passed and it was bags of peat and they were only like 120 a bag so but obviously we haven't got a garden <laughs> so, but if it were up to me i'd be getting everything but this is why we need tony because he says what you know don't buy that shit, you don't need it so yeah but he's taking me for seeds because he knows i like wildflowers flaps are open have you opened all flaps tone <laughs> we're all warm hello brucey big lad so I've done something stupid this week. Tony said, get us a pole foot boat. So we've been getting all different things, you know, as you can see, we bought a mat because we didn't want to scratch the top of the boat. So that's for our call and stuff. And he said, get, get a pole, we need a pole, you know, so if we get stranded again, we can push off with it. So 
it is so hot Paul so I've ordered a Paul <laughs> Let's show you what I've got. It's too heavy, I can't even move it, right? Can you see? And I've got that way. I bought a scaffolding pole. <laughs> it's the wrong thing. It's too big, it's too heavy. But it's galvanised apparently, so it doesn't rust. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to go and get another one because it's too heavy and it's wrong. <laughs> I'm so thick sometimes. Oh, he's getting his gift out. Going up, pairs of glasses on your head, Tony. He's got his readers and his other ones. We're putting Bradley mate up for Bruce. So we've opened all the flaps, as you can see. So Bruce has got somewhere we can't get to the other side because of, obviously it's having a gap. You can see down there. We could do actually, but we're not. We're gonna just put the pole up instead. So today is basically a day of getting ready for the boat and trying out all the shit things that I've bought for it that don't work. <laughs> so we're going to have to start again before. <laughs> Anybody know a scrap man? Yeah, if you know any scrap men, let us know. So this is our tillipin right now. We've seen on other channels that they rub the tillipins when they set off, but because ours has got an arm, <laughs> I'm not going to bother because I leave it there, leave it there. <laughs> rubbing that every time we set off. <laughs> it looked like a right, <laughs> look like a right bunch of loonies. So anyway, this is what we've got. Now, if you could tell us in the comment why we've got a rhinoceros as our um, tillipen, the first person who gets it right and, and shows up our end, we'll send you, um, we'll send you something from our site. But yeah. I had this made, this is actually a brass paperweight and they made, somebody made it into a tillipin for me so you tell us why in the comments below just the first person to do we see that's commented right and um, we'll send you something free so one thing on an arrow boat that people never tell you about is that sleeping can be a little bit hard um, simply because the beds are smaller so you're very very close <laughs> and sometimes you're sleeping under like a little bit of a shelf um, and if you're a larger lady like myself it can be a little bit trying so sometimes we we like one of us gets up in the night if, we, if we're struggling sleeping and anyway this this particular this week just gone and we were in bed everything's fine both sleeping really well or so I thought and then the next minute um, Tony nudges me and, and, and I sort of bolt up wondering what's going on <laughs> and I'd woke him up in the night, wait till I tell you, I'd woke him up in the night mooing, <laughs> aren't I Tony? Yep. No, <laughs> mooing like, like that. <laughs> no, it's not the first time I've woke him up mooing. Right, I must have this thing about animals, about cows, I'm not so sure. And this is this is what he woke up to and i said to him and i went was that did i wake you up mooing and he went yeah um <laughs> we thought like maybe we want to like a bit of cows have come from fields and come in marina or something but it weren't it were me mooing but yeah i do stupid things but the other week we were saying about um in the night i because i snore really bad because i sleep on my back um and he woke me up, um, he, he was tutting at me and tutting every two minutes and then I got up at half past two in the morning and came in the front room on the other, it's like a bed settee and, um, and he just went, where, where are you going, where are you going, I'll go there, don't, don't go there and I said, I just want to snore and I just <laughs> didn't tell. and I was just like, I just want to snore because he's like but we, we we have this like daily battle all the time where it's like no i'll go out over there so you sleep no i'll go out and sleep over there but we just we're still not got even though it's been like six months now we're still struggling with the really really small bed um nothing to do with with me being chunky or anything like that it's just it's i just we just both want to sleep on our backs and we can't <laughs> Well, thank you for tuning in, everybody, this week. We are on the water next week, so please subscribe, please like, and leave a comment if you can. We really appreciate that. And you will see us next week on the canal, on the cut, somewhere. Don't know when, don't know where, not really sure what's happening or when we're going, but you will definitely, definitely, definitely see us on water next week. So if you have stayed with us for 12, 13 weeks, 
even though we've not been able to get on the canal because we've been stuck thank you i love you lord <laughs> love you very much Le. so we appreciate you staying with us so thanks ever so much and as i said please subscribe and like the videos then you can catch us next week and i hope we've made you smile again and it's goodbye from me it's goodbye from tony goodbye from captain bruce and as always forget me not bye